and it is ESPN Premier Boxing Championships. Andrew, caller number three right now at 736-0186 as boxing returns to the Turning Stone Friday night. The featured bout is undefeated fighter Miguel Flores, who's 20-0, taking on Ryan Kilzeski, uh, the Polish, what, the Polish prince? I believe that's what they're calling him. I'm pretty sure. It's all happening in the event center on Friday night. Doors open at 6, tickets starting at $25. Call 361-SHOW or Ticketmaster for tickets. If you want a pair of tickets, we'll take caller three through the lines right now. And a uh, quick little question we'll throw at you and give you a chance to uh, to win the tickets for for Friday night. I also have that story I wanted to I wanted to tell you about in the the dealership car dealership in uh, yeah, in in New Jersey. This is an unbelievable story. An Indian So, India, Indian. Okay. National. They're generally Hindu. Um a New Jersey Mercedes-Benz dealership is being sued for $1.26 million after the dealer refused to sell the Indian national a brand new car on grounds that they were afraid he would sell the car to the Taliban. <laughs> the Times Herald record reports that uh, Sergit Bassi, 50, went to Prestige Motors in New Jersey to replace his Mercedes ML350 SUV with a newer model and chose the larger and more expensive GL550. According to uh, the uh, the Indian National, Bassey told the paper that after he negotiated the price with the sales staff, everything went well. He put $1,000 down on the car, had his insurance update to his policy. Everything was moved over. All of a sudden, the sales manager called him into the office and said, I'm so sorry, we can't sell you the vehicle because you come from a high-risk area that buys cars and sells them to the Taliban. Now, is that true, or did he make that up? He made that up? <laughs> well... No, I'm sure he heard it somewhere on an overnight AM radio station. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, come on. Uh, that's when Bossy, who runs a medical transport company, told the manager that he's lived in the area for 30 years, has no relation to any terrorist organization. Even if he did come from, the guy's lived here for 30 years. Even if his heritage came from, even if he was a, a Muslim Saudi who's been living here for 30 years. You can't deny the guy a vehicle because you well, think I, he might be selling okay. it to the Taliban. That's crazy. Um, anyway, a search by the Times-Herald record of Bassey's name on a federal database of those banned from exporting turned up nothing. Okay, uh, He's not on any list. There's nothing there. This dealership just saw him. He looked different and thought, well, that's terrible. Well, I can't sell it to you. I mean, surprisingly, it could have been a guy's doctor, right? <laughs> How many Indian doctors are in the United States? Quite a few. Is that a positive stereotype? Are there positive stereotypes? I think being a, you mean as an Indian to be a doctor, that's mm -hmm. a positive stereotype, I, th yeah. I would think. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, who do we have on the line here, Andrew? I don't have my computer all set up here. So who's online? Dan. Uh, it's Dan. Dan and Ariskany. Dan the man and Ariskany. Oh, uh, good morning, Dan or Stan. Dan. 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 I Hi, said Dan. Scanny, yeah. Hi, Dan. Good morning. Good morning. How's the dog? What's the dog's name? <laughs> Stella and Bella. Stella and Bella. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to throw a question at you here, and uh, all you have to do is answer it, and you get the tickets for Friday night. Are you ready? Okay. This is kind yep. of an easy one. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I, I guess I'm wondering about this question, but I, 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 want, I don't want to make this the question. Okay. But let's talk about it. Okay. The question is, how many rounds does boxing have? And the answer is 12. Yeah, I didn't like that question. The, I remember the 15-round mm -hmm. events back in the 70s. Well, so here's the thing. It was always, uh, you know, a title fight, a heavyweight fight was 15 rounds. That has been reduced to 12. There are no more 15-round fights. However... You will you see might sometimes have, uh, a six, uh, an eight, a ten. And um, and three rounds, right? In, um, is it three rounds in, in amateur. Olympic amateur boxing? So, okay, here's your question. Are you ready, Dan? Sure. Here it is. Uh, who did Muhammad Ali fight in the Rumble in the Jungle? Joe Frazier. Uh, who also, I didn't finish the question. You can't answer until okay. I'm ready, Dan. Okay, here's the question. <laughs> Who did Muhammad Ali fight in the Rumble in the Jungle? Parentheses. He also, his opponent also came to owning a grilling system years later. End of parentheses. And the answer is? George Foreman. George Foreman. Is it George Foreman? It is. Congratulations. Uh, we'll give you a pair of tickets for Friday night 
and you'll go to ESPN Boxing at the Turning Stone, all right? Okay. Patience, Dan. Patience. It will come to you. Okay. Okay, man. Sit tight. And Andrew's going to hook you up. Yeah, that's uh, that was a good question. But he, uh, so there's George Foreman or Joe Frazier, right? Those are pretty much uh, interchangeable in the boxing world. You do have it right, right? That's correct. correct. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no. um, okay, anyway. No, but when he said that, I, my instinct was to hit the ding, and then you threw the grill in, and I, I don't have a Frazier, Frazier fryer at home or anything like no, that. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> so. It was not Frazier. So uh, there's that. All right, uh, other stories we have uh, here this morning. I, I think it is interesting, and we can talk about it, that the uh, the hospital and um, – the the hospital association that's called what it's the Mock Valley HS MVHS the Mock Valley Health Systems um, is now taking the next step towards downtown right yes they have uh, selected three appraisal companies I guess to to value some of the properties in downtown and areas that will be affected by the the hospital move I heard from one uh, listener here this morning that is uh, that is concerned that uh, Benji's is going to be up for sale I hate to tell you. That uh, Benji's is already up for sale. Oh, it is. There's a big for sale sign. I drove by it just yesterday. There's a for sale sign on on Benji's right now. But all of those businesses along along that area are uh, are are going to be given an offer. And I don't. I think this would be more of a an eminent domain issue. So you'll be given an offer. If you don't accept the offer, you get the offer. Right? Isn't that how this goes? Oh, that's a good question. I'm I don't pretty know. sure it is. Well, the, it I would guess be. my question They'd is They'd have to use eminent domain in order to probably to to ultimately take the property. I thought that was for like if the government wanted to come in and build a highway, not if they cuz it's a private hospital, right? It is, but there's a lot of public money going into this. So, I wonder how that does work. The other thing is that there's properties that they're looking at um they're talking about one or two parking garages. So there'll be other properties that'll be looked at, maybe uh, and not along that Columbia Street area, mm-hmm. but other properties as well. There's a story in, uh, in today's Observer Dispatch, but I don't know the answer. Um, let's say somebody doesn't want to sell. I, I would assume the way, the only way you could take property would be using eminent domain. But that might right. be uh, for an attorney to be a good one to get a uh, to get an answer on. And uh, I have another couple of uh, uh, interesting little doozies we can throw at you. Trump is being um, I don't know. The criticized, he mispronounced a word yesterday and ended up doing um, using a word instead of using city. He might have used another consonant instead of the the letter C. I'm not going to get into it, but um, uh, people are all over about that. I don't think it's anything. You know, I think it's more funny than anything else. Some audio. You said I didn't see yesterday. Do you really want me to play the audio? Well, it's, not if he's swearing. Well, it's, but I, is it, it beeped out? Uh, technically, I'm not sure that's swearing, but um, this is already beeped out anyway. Here we and go. by the way into cities like right here in Detroit. I think it's ridiculous that somebody's even jumping on it, but it, it, it is a bit of a faux pas that he made as he was speaking. Uh, there's a video online of a woman who quit her job at a restaurant by mooning the entire place and slapping both cheeks five times each. <laughs> <clears throat> Want to hear that audio? Classy. It's pretty unbelievable. Now, hang on. I don't give a oh my God. Oh! If, if you if you hear the, uh, the the smacking there, that's her spanking herself. <clears throat> you sure that wasn't the pancakes? That's that's her spanking herself. Now, hang on. I don't give a. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. I got hired at Yale. Suck my mother. Oh my God. I got hired at Yale. Yeah, I bet. <clears throat> and that's where I learned to speak this way, by the way. And smack my bottom. <laughs> Yes, Andrew? Uh, no comment. No comment. You sure? Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and Bill is on the line in New Hartford. Uh, Bill, good morning, Bill. Uh, good morning. Bill. You're speechless the- after that. You are speechless. Uh, <laughs> that hos- the hospital now. Yes. Is that a done deal, or what per- What percent of the of a done deal do you think, I think it it's is? A pre- I, I think it's a pretty... Pretty much a done deal that the the downtown yeah. locale. I mean, they're looking at properties now. They're doing appraisals on on oh. what they'll be offering property owners down there. And 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 let's be honest. I mean, Bill, you there are a few businesses down there that are very successful. Um, oh, yeah. And and even those businesses we've heard are optimistic when it comes to what they're going to be able to maybe move into a new facility, something that's more modern. Mm-hmm. Um, but there are also some buildings down there and, and that are just in really rough shape that I think uh, may be owned by people or owned even by businesses 
that are kind of looking forward to the opportunity to sell because they can't uh, get market value um, on the on the regular market. So St. Luke's <laughs> is out of the picture then. I mean, uh, um, you mean using? Uh, I think that they've already announced that the uh, the downtown is the location. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just want to hear. Okay, I, I guess could be some things that would come into play, but yeah. if you're if you're at this level, I mean, Manaski, you're at the the level now where you're. Yeah, I mean, it's not a done deal until it's a done deal, but I mean, it's pretty. Yeah. It, I, it, the hospital. Yeah. I, the plan is to move it oh. downtown. Okay. The handwriting is on the crumbling facade down there on Columbia Street. Oh uh, yeah, okay. that's a good way of putting it. Okay, okay. all right, Bill. Here's Manaski with an update right now. Seven forty-seven Friday through Tuesday morning, and a hot one on the way. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I wish, Bill, another day, another travel headache for some flyers. Delta Airlines canceling close to 250 flights today to try and reset following some technical difficulties yesterday. Hillary Clinton now has her largest lead yet over Donald Trump. The latest NBC News Survey Monkey weekly election tracking poll has Hillary up 51 to 41 percent. And uh, yesterday I had a chance to speak with Congressman Richard Hanna about his decision to support Hillary Clint, uh, Clinton instead of Donald Trump. You can find that audio right now on our website and on our Facebook page. Uh, Trump, excuse me, Hanna doubling down, as we would say, calling Trump uh, erratic and it's, unstable. It's hard to trust some of these polls when their names are like Silly Monkey. Um, the Silly survey Monkey, monkey or Survey yeah. Monkey poll. I mean, whatever happened to the, the prestige of having a poll? A pollster coming in, and now you have all these. I mean, there's uh, how many polls are there out there? Everybody's got a poll, and everybody's got a different name. Hot day on the way today, mostly sunny with a high of 88. Tonight, dropping down, maybe some thunderstorms and showers, dropping down to the upper 60s, and then tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms, mid 80s, back up over 90 on Thursday with more chances of thunderstorms. You know, as that heat and humidity comes in, so then does the chance of, uh, of thunderstorms. Currently, it is 59 degrees at WIBX. Coming up, I'm gonna. Uh, we'll do our little Crystal Pepsi taste test in studio. We purchased the first one to be sold in North Utica. It's the brand new retro product. This was out in the '90s for what a year before it went uh, before it tanked. Yeah. Well, it's back, and it began selling this week or maybe even today. We have a bottle. We're gonna do a blind taste test to discover which uh, is it the Pepsi we're drinking or is it the uh, Crystal Pepsi. We'll get into that. Also, I want an update. Yesterday with Delta, we spoke with the uh, with the lady that was heading off with her mom on the cruise, stuck at the airport in Syracuse. They were flying, I'm saying flying by ground. They were driving in a very fast way to um, Elmira to pick up an Allegiant flight uh, where they would then get to Orlando in time to, to meet their cruise ship before it took off at 4 p.m. Did they make it? Did the flight, did they get on a flight, and did they get to Orlando? We'll have an update for you. Coming up on WIBX.